and he became the first local reporter, print or television, to get into Cuba. NBC News, Damascus. Ike Siemens, NBC News, Moscow. Inside the cathedral here in San Salvador, In 1979, Ike was chosen to be a network correspondent for NBC based at their Miami bureau, covering Florida, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. He immediately became a war correspondent covering civil wars in Nicaragua, El Salvador, and other Central American countries. But Ike's big break was going to Iran to cover the U.S. Embassy hostage crisis for NBC. He also covered the Falklands War in Argentina. In 1982, Ike became a foreign correspondent based in Rome and realized his lifelong dream of living abroad. While he occasionally reported from Italy, he primarily used Rome as a jumping off point to cover Middle East wars and the rest of the world. Ike Siemens, NBC News, Beirut. War reporting from Beirut and Israel was definitely a career highlight. During his career, Ike has covered stories from more than 70 countries. But some residents claim they're worse. No matter what Gorbachev does, Ike Siemens, NBC News, Jerusalem. In 1985, Ike returned to Miami to try his hand at management as assistant bureau chief. Later, he was promoted to NBC bureau chief and correspondent in Israel, then bureau chief and correspondent in Moscow. In recent years, Ike broke major stories, like the cause of the value jet crash in the Everglades and poor security at Miami International Airport, a story that led to the resignation of the security director. Last November, he filed the first U.S. television story, network or local, on a worldwide spy system, Echelon. Who controls this super secret surveillance system? And most recently, traveled to Colombia to do the first story on South Florida's newest immigration crisis. Ike has also done several documentaries, including his most recent, Mission Holy Land, Renewing Faith, which was a return to Israel. In his spare time, Ike also writes opinion pieces for the Miami Herald and book reviews for newspapers and magazines. After more than three decades in the business, Ike is working longer hours and covering more complex stories than ever.